clearly a contradiction. What an opener, right? Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he walked went to the apartment. Went to the apartment. Went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Did his hair oh, just come yeah. off? Prove it. Prove I went in there. His hair. Did it? Did that? Did I see that? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'll do better than that. I can prove you are the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court! Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. After I take a drink. I'll all allow it. Alright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What? What's the meaning of this? This, this is all basis conjecture. Faceless? Just look at the witness's face! Yes! Yes! He looks constipated! Expressions are not evident! Oh, Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... 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 I never... Look, I... The clock... I heard... No, I mean, I saw... It. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you! Do you have lice? Well, It was him, I tell you! I saw him! He killed her, and he should burn! Burn! Give him death! Can I have, any, can I have coronary over there? <laughs> order! Order the court, I say! Your, your honor, a, a moment, please. This, 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 there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claim. Mr. Wright! Your honor. Your claim, the sound the witness heard, came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Oh, he's writing on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. I'm gonna burp. <clears throat> Excuse me. The sound Mr. Saw had heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply. What? Try sounding the clock? <laughs> I have to knock the neighbors on. Yeah? Okay. The wording kind of threw me off a little bit. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. This certainly is a strange way to announce the time! Well, he is the thinker, after all, Your Honor. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you please tell me what time it is now? Three hours ahead. Three hours. Yep, three hours it's after eight. Eleven twenty-five. <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw it heard in the actual time of death. Why would you have a clock three hours slow? Because she's in Paris. Uh, where is this supposed to take part in? This is in LA? I think. Japan, but they try to make it like America. Okay. But it was like, set in Japan Brand originally. Brand is more than three hours ahead of us. I don't know, man. Uh, it was set in Japan originally, and they just 
Yeah, I made mean, the barest minimum of effort to try and make it America. <laughs> so, Mr. Side, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing! Uh oh. What's he talking about? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! This is coming back to the Paris thing, right? <laughs> yeah, that deal is in Paris. <laughs> He's right. How am I gonna prove that? Damn it! I was so close! Mr. Wright? It seems you lack the crucial evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. That means I cannot let you indict the witness. Indict? Isn't it in- yeah. I think it's indict. Yeah, yeah, it's indict. Indict, so it is. Unfortunately. This is the cross-examination of Mr. Frick Sart. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! My voice keeps changing. They treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Ugh, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. I actually I have the answer. Come on, game. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Sot. Oh? Me, I mean, Chief! <laughs> Listen up, right? Left. Left? Don't throw the stone away. Not like this. Think! Not like this! Not, Not like, like this. this! Not like this! But Chief, it's, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that! Yes, you can! Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you still can't win. Can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. So in other words, if you don't have evidence, just bullshit hard enough? Yes. Phoenix right in a nutshell. <laughs> don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Does it rhyme with dance? Right, right. Left, uh -huh. left. Left, left, right, right. Absolutely. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh, uh, wait! Maybe I can prove it! You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Left! I've been over this! Apparently, I yep, okay. Just wanted to make sure that was. Alright! Find it and let them have it! Well, Mr. Wright? You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course! There is a piece of evidence in the core record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off! Make it this Let's see the evidence that proves where the clock was running slow. Take that! The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. <laughs> when it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her at dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Side? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Aww. Yes. 
Did you like that one, Mia? At least give me that one. That was funny, right? Mr. Did it? <laughs> I think you killed him. <laughs> oh. Guilty! Order! Order, I say! That's not murder, is it, Your Honor? It is! But I didn't... I didn't do it. He... He had a... It was in, like, an accident. Everyone is guilty! <laughs> You're going to prison! You're going to prison! Everyone's going to prison! At least we know Larry did. Stress induced it. seizure? Uh, you can have a stress induced heart attack. Does a heart well, attack make you foam at the mouth? It can. <laughs> I assume. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I, I well, guess. It wouldn't really well, be like full moon, it'd just be like a lot of spit, basically. The case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. We have a dead man laying on the floor! Mr. Payne, your client? Deceased, Your Honor. <laughs> he, uh... He, he died and was taken to the morgue, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. For what it's worth, Your Honor, me too. You didn't completely screw that up! Yes, I know. I am impressed. I didn't think I'd be even... <laughs> I've ever seen someone, uh, someone complete an offense so quickly. At this rate, my boss might actually think I did a good job. And find the true culprit at the same time! Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... The court finds an offended, Mr. Larry Butts... GUILTY! And sentence him to 50 years in prison! Confetti. <laughs> and with that, the court is adjourned! Be sure to cry bucket! Finger guns at Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew, I still can't believe we won! Right. Left. Good job in there. Wow, really? You mean it, boss? Congratulations. Oh, Here's $50. $50? Yep. This is like a gift, right? I get the other, the rest of it in, in the mail, right? Nope, it's just $50. That's all I, that's all I get? Yep. <laughs> Isn't it great being a lawyer? It's the small victories. <laughs> <clears throat> so thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. I guess dinner's on me. I don't need to pay my rent anyways. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. Where's Larry? Oh. <laughs> it's over. I'm sorry? Larry, you're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Oh, dang. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. But buddy, I got 50 bucks. <laughs> that, See? That's cool. But my girlfriend, the love of my life, is still dead. Oh, come on. 50 bucks. We'll get tanked. You'll forget all about her. I, I highly doubt that. At least you'll forget about her for like three hours until you pass out. Well, yeah. Then I'll be just as bad when I wake up. Yeah, but that's three hours of relief, bud. Uh, true. That's what I thought. Good! Wait! No! I mean... Oh, bad! Bad, bad, bad! <laughs> Larry, you're innocent! The case is closed! 
<laughs> I said he went, he's gone, man. Gone forever. A pet name like that? Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Psst, boss, it's a Larry. Uh, Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. But pretty lady. It's fair. Oh, hey. <laughs> Take this. It's a present. Oh, dude. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I... I... I made this clock for her. It's kind of impressive. Uh, I I made for I made one for her and one for me. R really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Hey, there's only forty-five dollars here. What the hell? Yo, Nick. Yeah. Can you believe it? I was so into that shit. Uh-huh. And, and she's just playing me for a fool. 25. Dude, this is messed up. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> does that make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you, in her own way. Nah, you, 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 nah. you don't gotta sympathize with me, Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. No, 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 don't do this. You'll be inconsolable if you do this. Don't do it! No, 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 no. Isn't that right? Right? No. Don't you have something to show no, no, your no, no, friend? No, 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 no. Oh, now I'm obligated. Something that proves how she felt about him? No. Haha? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Left. What the heck is she talking about? What is she talking about? She took the statue all the way to Paris. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't know, what is it? A long time? No. Statue clock. How's this? Oh, okay, it's doing the thing. So uh, when you're holding down the button, press the M key on your keyboard. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, what, is, what does this do? At least I thought I had that mapped. It's trying to do microphone. Oh, what the fuck? There you go. <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. I'm not going to do that for any of these. Just, just throwing that out there. Huh? Where'd you get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her to when she traveled. Not the Paris, apparently. Hmm. They probably just needed a clock. That's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Food for thought, buddy. Food for thought. Well, make of it what you will. That was like a different wording for what I said. <laughs> hey, Nick. I, I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. I'd say I'm glad too, but I got $45. How much were you supposed to get paid? No, I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> really? I am paid. <laughs> oh, I hope that made him feel a little better. Life is pain! <laughs> Life is pain. Right? Left. Wrong, I mean left. Shit! <laughs> I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize 
Things change depending on how you look at them. But if I look at this $45, it's still $5 short. People, too. Money never changes. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Left. Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? And I'm keeping the extra five dollars. What? What? I ran. Yeah. I helped I you. Guess, I guess so. <laughs> Say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Innocent butts. To innocent butts. To innocent butts. Yeah. takes you to McDonald's. <laughs> oh, can I get a Happy Meal, boss? <laughs> I want a toy! Third. Do you want a My Little Pony or a Transformer? I want a Transformer! <laughs> oh, speaking of Harry... <laughs> <laughs> you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah. Part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe... over drinks? And so my first trial came to a close on that awkward note. The lady slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends! But I'm pretty sure he's not gonna pay me. Unless you count the clock he gave me. Boss only gave me $45. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon gonna be at the center of another incident. Oh no! My promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. No. No. No, this no. sounds bad. No, this does not no. sound good at all. No. The end of chapter one. Wow, well, we're only, <laughs> we're only 22 minutes in, so we're probably just gonna go. <laughs> sounds good. Keep going. I mean, this sounds like not good. I mean... People! I mean... First turnabout? Turn oh, I like how that changes now. Neat. Okay, well... I don't like the sound of this at all. Not after I got an offer for drinks! Beep. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Got him. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? So instead, we'll put her in danger. <laughs> it's... a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. As, as clocks do. I thought you might like it. You always liked toys. So I'm a pony at the clock. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis! Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame! I had to take the clockwork out. Clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, 
There's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in the pre meeting until then. Pre-trial? Pre-trial. Who dares summon me? Oh, that was me. me. Sorry. <laughs> you have no idea the wrath you've unleashed upon the world. I don't know. I've unleashed the, the angry Canadian. <laughs> okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. How's work, Ricky? I'm sure he's Fraggle. Okay. Go on my break, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Eat, what are you eating? Like. I'm eating noodles. Alright, good to hear. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. No noodles. I've got taco flavored nachos, does that count? That's pretty good too, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll have noodles instead. Alright, it's a deal! <laughs> Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. I oh, have a this feeling case. they never yeah. had noodles. Conversation recorded September 5th at 9.27am. Rude and Nancy have never played yeah, this. I'm blind, which is why I'm the one recording it. <laughs> September 5th, 8.57pm. Faye and Cole Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. God damn, my internet's not good enough for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, That Ricky. must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. That must be the thinker. How could you know? <laughs> because you just admitted it! Oh, you are not cogniferous of God, my God, I hate background. this guy so much. He's such a shitbag. <laughs> <laughs> Gathering information is my business, you see. I want to replace the question marks with shitbag now. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get his actual name, it's even worse. Oh boy. I... I should have been more careful. <sighs> Oh, my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. I'm very sorry, Miss Faye. <laughs> I get the impression this guy's not a good guy. But I am afraid nope. I must ask you for one more. I'm afraid more. I must ask you for one more thing. I like it even better with, like, the, the slightly <laughs> delay between them. <laughs> Your eternal, Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. <laughs> Voice man. <laughs> no, I don't like this at all. This is not okay. Not okay. Bad. Ugh, he looks like a douchebag. Right. Red, white, blue. Now it's going back to Dad. you. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fay and Co. Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. <laughs> That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming Definitely. over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Oh, what? Oh, no. What is this? Okay, so move. This can... is normal gameplay outside of the courtroom. So move as we move between screens, I assume. And exa yeah. Examine. Oh right, you haven't done any of this yet. No. Oh jeez. Okay. So yeah, it becomes uh, like. Okay. It becomes one of those like find in the picture games. Okay. So when there's something that catches my eye, I can do that. Okay. This is interesting. Office. This is neat. That smell! Blood? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's Maya, by the way. Okay. Sis? Someone's there. Hello? Oh. Chief? Chief? Chief! 
Can't show it. Who are you? Why'd you do it? You're going to jail. Oh, now I feel bad. That strange girl dropped out cold. Oh, that strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Oh no, I don't like this at all. This is sad. I just sign up for this. Jeez. I know, I liked her. So did I. Yeah, I mean... Well. Start with the body, I suppose. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly, and well, that's kind of a relief, honestly. Not really how real life works, but, you know. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder wedge. The thinker added to this shit again. Okay. Some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of glass from. With well, a glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards added to the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper must have fallen out from Mia's hand. What could it be? It's a receipt from the noodle place. Five dollars. Damn it! A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store. Damn! <laughs> Dated from yesterday. <laughs> I, was, I was joking! <laughs> I think that's enough snooping around for now. I like how it tells you when you're done, at least. I'd better call the police. Find out what that girl was yeah, doing you'll, here. You have to find every piece of evidence that's to go forward. That's good. It won't just lock you out. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Get Back to work. You guys have fun playing your damn video game, kids. Have a good night, Reki. Okay, bye, Reki. See you, Reki. Peace. Yeah. Peace. I love the Reki cameos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh. Hope she didn't run on me. Ah! Um, don't scare me like that. Um. Excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside of the courtroom. Okay. Can I talk- can I just talk to her first? Like... You can. Okay, I don't wanna- I don't know how- Alright. Uh, let's see. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't wanna disturb her, but I have to know. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark, and sis, sis. So she was already dead. Okay. You were the chief. So you're the chief's... Sister. Whew. I'm her younger sister. You were here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was the clock. It's always the damn clock. It was the thinker. Alright then. Um. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. But she died instantly. 
She wrote it on the back I'm of the receipt. I'm contradicting your, 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 your own testimony, Phoenix. <gasps> th th that's my name. Sure looks like it. Well, why? Why would she write my name? Seems you... Maybe she wanted you to pay her back for the noodles. Please, just calm down. Please. Why... Why would Sis write my name? Oh, you're not gonna cry, are you? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Better hurry up and call the police. Jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. 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 No, no, uh. No, uh. Move my phone! Uh. 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 No, no, this is not. I don't wanna go back in there. No, 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 Um. Is there a phone in here? Shit. Uh, is that a phone? What's this? Reception desk. I usually sit here. Oh, that's not helpful. Do I have to go back in the office? Uh, you just stay right here. Uh, shit, there's a phone. Um, well, at least she's not, can't hear her crying anymore. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. That might be Maya? Police? Please, come quick! Oh! Oh, that's the girl across the way. Oh. This is, this is gonna be you, Brute. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, she's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand! That's a selfie voice if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, whatever. Oh no. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo! <laughs> oh shit. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way! And this is Anstika. Freeze, police! Your Honor? <laughs> oh. Alright, I'm texting Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. Fuck you! We received a report from the building across the way, see? You got a person saying they saw a murder, see? No. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I I I I, I, I don't want it want either of you moving an inch. Okay, Psst. see. Start crying again. Make him feel bad. That's not gonna work. You <laughs> see. You need to cry more. Like really, work it up. The water works. Go for it. <laughs> oh, you're you're making her feel bad, dude. I don't care. Too much shouting. You okay making an innocent looking person like this cry so much? You must be a monster. What kind of police officer two, are you? Two, two are potentially murderers, see? Like my sister. Protect and That's serve, That's all huh? the more reason for you to have killed Sounds her, Sounds like man. you're just serving, not doing very much protecting here. Well, fuck you. You're making her cry. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. Look at that. Waterworks. Anyway, if either one of you move, I, I'm just gonna throw you out the window. Mm, worth a shot. Great. Just great. Mayo. Hey, she wouldn't have. Nah. Wah! Excuse me! You're excused. <laughs> the word Maya here. Mean anything to you? Is that an operating See? system? Uh, um, that. Oh, no. That's my name. What? Oh, the victim did this here no in her own blood. See? I'm aware. With her dying press, she wrote down the killer's name. I, I don't that I, I mm -hmm. doubt that. K killer? I'm not Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! That's not how this works, you fucking idiot! 
<laughs> Shut up! No, 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 no. Yes! Actually! No. Fine, I'll am. see you in court! You bet your ass you will! <laughs> just happened. What? Don't worry. I'm at a fancy Well, you see, I got, I got these special bracelets for ya! Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested oh, on the spot. Oh, they are shiny. I was taken yeah. in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, <laughs> waiting for the visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. No, no, really, I'm a really good defense attorney. I've saw, I saw, I, I cleared my first and only client. Honestly. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. They, they think she murdered someone, so oh. yeah! <laughs> it's you, the lawyer. Guilty. <laughs> Good morning. It's a joke, huh? Good morning. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so tired. Um. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. It's up to you as the technically legal answer, but of course that will is like the optimistic answer. And that's just the asshole answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does it matter what I pick, or can I just pick whatever? It, it's up to you. Okay. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will! Cheer up! No, don't... <laughs> Jesus. Really? <laughs> Phoenix, Whoa. You Did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Uh, what? 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 People? What's wrong? Do you don't think I can do it? <laughs> no. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? Did I shout out, you're going to jail at her? No, no, I, I never, I never thought. <laughs> I forgot you did that. <laughs> it, it's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Hell yeah, my one client. <laughs> heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. Yes! One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. Yes! The only thing he's lacking is experience. Yes? Huh. Sounds like it was fun. No. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Damn it! That is, unless you want to be found guilty. What the fuck? Damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. That's what she said. Ah. My yeah. guess is she's only 15. Oh. <laughs> no, she's living on her own, so she's gotta be. Something. No, we have nothing to suggest she was on her own. She he said, I'm living on my own now! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, she has to, she said she had a place of her own. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to trouble you. No, 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 it's it's okay. It's, it's, it's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia, I didn't say that with the right inflection at all. I know. Oh no 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 wait I didn't uh, no no I didn't no, 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 I didn't no, mean no 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 no. no, no. Uh, uh, hey look there's a bird out the window look bird it's, it's chirping like bird. yeah look at it it's chirping 
Yeah. Yeah. Sure, so sure. happy. Look at it. My him. sister and I used to watch birds all the time. Shit. <laughs> Quack. Um. Quack. <laughs> what if I jingle my keys? <laughs> Jiggle, 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 this is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. <laughs> acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? I'm a Sith in training! Oh, it's nothing strange, really. She needs a different attorney! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, no, no. Use the sport defense! Insanity! Good, good! I'm a spirit medium. In training. Nothing strange, she says. <laughs> Spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. I did this again. Uh, just because we're going on 50 minutes here pretty quick, I think we should stop this one so it doesn't go on for 6,000 years. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. See everybody next time where we'll finish this. Whatever this is. Yep. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.